It has been raining a lot. We're under flash flood warnings. Now I was going to walk to the creek and see just how fast it's flowing. <clears throat> but the pond water is way up right here. All the rocks are buried right there where we used to walk out right there. Fish. We have this ditch to drain off water from the driveway and it's flowing quickly to the pond. Goodness, it has flooded so much in our dirt road that the mailman couldn't deliver the mail today. Hope I make it back before it rains again because it's supposed to pound us again. Our whole trail is flooded. Look at that. This is not the creek. <laughs> All this is running off from the road up there. See, he can, it's not big, but I have a feeling the creek is going to be. Have a nice little waterfall over there. Gosh, Aiden has an eye appointment tomorrow and I'm thinking hopefully the road won't be flooded. We should be able to get out. So I did get stuck in the mud earlier this week. Had the neighbor help me get out, so that was nice. But now I gotta go down the hill here. All the water's flowing down on my trails. All down the hill here. I just made a little creek, didn't I? Coming from over here too. Now that it's spring, we're starting to get our medicinal plants. This here is plantain. It's good for bug bites and scratches and getting splinters out of your finger. I'm fixing to cross this little trench ditch rather. See if I can get across it. It might be too flooded. I might have to go a different way. Well, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. That goes right behind Nate's shelter over there. Should we go check them and see what they look like? We haven't been over in a while. Show you how deep it is. Whoa. Pretty deep. <laughs> Okay, let's go check the shelters. Oh, shelters aren't going to last forever, are they? They're all turning brown now. And yeah, of course they're soaked. But yeah, they're all turning brown. Look at mine. It's really, oh no! <laughs> Drops from the branches. And Nate's over there. It's all flooded right there. We're gonna go a different way. And nope, that's not the creek either. But we hear it. Can y'all hear it? Wait, we're hearing this. We're not even hearing the creek. Oh whoa, it's going like enough. Check that out. Oh, whoa, it goes over like a... It's pretty wild. Ooh, it's starting to rain again. All right, I gotta cross over here. We're gonna get caught in the rain. Whoa, that was deeper than I thought. <laughs> Got another creek. Not the original. Whoa, look at it coming. Oh, it's flowing fast. Guess the beaver dam washed away, huh? <laughs> oh my goodness. All the way around the bend down there. just away pretty quick. Look at that. It's very deep. 
normally I can hop over here. I can just walk over to the other side really easy. So, pretty crazy. We used to have a little camp spot over here. So we'd camp down here at the creek. Ooh, get to walk the thorns, y'all. Spring, everything's blooming. The birds are singing. The red bud trees are blooming, which is a good time to look for morel mushrooms. Maybe we'll find some while we're out here. Oh yeah. So you can see we haven't been down here in a while. The tree fell? What? Oh beavers. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, beavers, beavers chewed on it. Off. And that one. Right there. This is that stuff. Oh yeah, that's a wild edible, isn't it? Yeah. Known as the ow. Mm -hmm. Stuck on thorns again. That right there. Very clear out all this stuff. Known as a jelly jelly mushroom. I'd have to read more about it before I eat one, but I'm not an expert on mushrooms, so I do know what morels look like in oyster mushrooms. Well, do you want to go for a swim? Watch you. <laughs> Watch me float downstream. Oh, I got a water drop on my lens, don't I? Down this flower. The base of the tree. You can see the water from here. Usually you can't see it from here. You have to walk up there. It's pretty deep. You looking for mushrooms? Yeah, well, let's see if we can find some. Look at all these trees the beavers chewed down. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> wow, look at that tree. What kind of tree is that one there? Sycamore. It's a sycamore tree right there. There are some oyster mushrooms. But I've never eaten them. I'm actually allergic to mushrooms, but everybody else likes them. But, like I said, I'm not a mushroom expert. Going through the thicket. Finding lots of mushrooms, just haven't found any morels yet. I know people have been finding them. Look, it's a pond we didn't know about. <laughs> Not really. That's how flooded it is. Frogs are enjoying it. More flooding and more flooding. Feel sorry for the beavers, all that work they did. Washed away. Oh, how deep is it? These boots aren't real. Oh, it's not too bad, I guess. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, no. <laughs> Stuck in the mud. grass is getting green since we burned and it's currently flooded some of it the fire burned that all up right there got all brown cedar trees now that's okay we we're gonna knock them down anyway ah look at that it looks like broadleaf plantain it's the first year I've ever seen that kind here some more right there. Huh. I think that is...
part of an armadillo show? That's my guess. Red bud tree. Time to look for morel mushrooms here in Oklahoma. Some deer tracks. Well, I enjoyed my two mile hike today. Now we can go eat. And in case you're wondering, we didn't find any morel mushrooms. Maybe next time.